Yeah, what is up you guys? This is Gaz Sun coming back and we're doing a base design contest this time around. If you guys remember, the last winner of my base design contest uh, was a little unusual, but you guys liked it so much, so this is the guy that won. However, this time I'm going to do a Town Hall 8 farming base. And so I've gotten a lot of emails from a few people already. It wasn't time yet, and they also sent me some Town Hall 9s. That's great, but this is going to be a Town Hall 8 base design first. And this is for farming, you guys. So if you guys need help figuring out what a farming base is, let me show you real quick. It's when uh, you have your town hall is outside. Usually good farming bases have their clan castle centralized. And they have, uh, let's see if we can put something else in here. They have uh, most of their weapons guarding their loot. So if I could just change some stuff around. Uh, we could even put our loot closer, actually. Let's do this. So this is just a really quick example of what a uh, town hall, or sorry, a farming base would look like. You have all of your loot protected, like pretty much like so, and you get um, your weapons guarding your town hall. Now some people actually like to put their town halls out here uh, to the far end where they're not gonna, you know, have the enemy coming closer to the town hall, but I like to just... I just like to put it closer just in case they do decide to go for it. I have some sort of weapons backing me up. So like this is a really quick, not too good example of a farming base. Okay, so for you guys that uh, are still new to learning about farming bases, there are three things that farming bases actually do. Uh, they help you earn loot and upgrade stuff. And you know, when you're usually going for trophies and fighting all the time when you do raids you're not able to save because it costs a lot to train up your troops and move up the ranks so people just like to um, farm and upgrade their walls and their weapons while they're doing that that's pretty much what farming is another thing uh, is that they like to stay on shield farmers usually just stay on shield after they're done raiding so that they're not in constant battle so that they can upgrade and a good way to stay on shields is just to throw your town hall out there so that they can get your trophies. And lastly, what this does is it helps you stay in a lower cup range so that you're not in a, um, a high battle. You know what I mean? Like you're not in a cup range where the attackers are gonna 50% you or three star your base. Usually if you're in gold or even lower, uh, like gold three, then the players really aren't that strong to, t to attack your base. So they're not gonna hopefully not get to the middle of your base and that's basically what it means to be a farmer and so you guys what I'm looking for or actually some tips to help you out if you're gonna be in this contest is make sure you have your CC centralized make sure you have your um, your gold is protected as well make sure your loots all protected by your weapons and lastly make sure your town hall is outside that's how you know if it's a farming base or not so I hope this has been helpful. I'm really looking forward to the base designs that you guys have for farming Town Hall 8s. And this, of course, is because of the fourth mortar. We're going to have our fourth mortar inside this new base design. So make sure you guys do that and come up. We can come up with a really good design for uh, Town Hall 8s. And so this is going to be going until about November 4th. If you guys could get in your pictures to me, that should give you about eight days or so to get your pictures or your base designs done. Send that into my email down at the bottom of this description of the video so that we can figure this thing out and get a vote for the best Town Hall 8 base design with these fourth mortars. Of course, after this, I'm going to be doing a hybrid Town Hall 8 as well as a Town Hall 9. We just got to get this one out of the way first. Alright you guys, so thank you for watching. This is Gasson and I will see you guys next time. Gasson out.